Alright guys, so a while ago, I had a broken 3 cell LiPo battery. I plugged it into the battery checker, and it told me that the middle cell was totally dead, but the outside two were totally fine. So I went outside, took it apart, and turned it into a 2 cell LiPo battery. And in this old Tri-C video, I'm going to show you how that's done. It's very easy, so let's crack right into it. So what you want to do first up, is get a Stanley knife here, and you want to chop the um, plastic coating off. You have to make sure you don't cut into the actual cells on the inside these things that are in the inside because that will be kind of bad. So what you want to do is just be nice and gentle. Unfortunately you can't really reuse this plastic and just if you just give it a little catch you can peel it out like this and you just peel around and then you, it will reveal sorry sticker, it will reveal on the inside doing it in one piece. That's a good skip. There we go. There we go. You can see our three cells on the inside now. You can see our lead comes out one end and our balance lead out the other. Now what we're going to do here is be very careful not to cut one into one of the cells because I'm sure that would be not very good. And you can see here that I'm outside and um, so if this does anything goes wrong it'll just make a bit of a fireball and it won't actually blow the house up or anything like that because that would be bad. right? So then the next step here is to cut this outside piece off. right? So I think we'll start at the bottom, so maybe there's a tab. There we go, look at that, there's a tab. Peel it right around, it comes off. There you go, so you can see it shows you all that nice and protected. Unfortunately we'll have to tape this up again when we're finished. And then you can see that you have to pull these apart because they're sort of glued together and we want to take the middle one. You could just leave the middle one in here actually but I'm going to take it out because what's the point of having excess weight? So what I want to do is just use this plastic ruler here and put it in between and you can see that it, it breaks. Okay, it, oh bugger. Anyway, if you're a bit more careful than that you can see that it slides in perfectly and won't damage the actual cells themselves. No, just slide, actually that's probably still usable. Anyway, you can see it slides in and the cell will come loose and you can see there's three separate cells, so we'll do that again. So we can get this one apart. Okay. Oh, nice. Now we've got our three separate cells revealed there and we have to make sure that none of these things touch because that could cause some problems. So, right, so the current goes down this black wire and then it swaps, it goes through this cell out the other side and then up the other cell and then back out through there, right? Alright guys, so now I've revealed the three different cells here. You can see the middle cell is the one I have to take out, as the battery checker indicated. So it's connected to two different places in the circuit, right? There's the circuit and it goes through that cell. You have to disconnect it on either side of the circuit and, sh and connect that together. So I'm going to just try and chop across it with these scissors, hopefully, because that'll be more accurate. There we go, so we can chop that out. And you can see, so it was connected to the white wire. And then, if I can connect, disconnect it on the other end here, like this, then that cell is totally disconnected. And where that cell was, like this, we can connect that together, and then we've got a circuit again, right? So we've got the positive wire, you follow the positive wire along, it goes through this cell, through the other cell, and back out through the negative, yeah? So, what you need to do is solder this up. And then, well, the other problem we've got is that these two cell, what is this? Cell 1 and 2 are connected to the same thing. We don't want that, do we? So what we have to do is disconnect one of these and change the balance lead, and then our problems will all be solved. That is now all connected. You can follow the electricity through the negative, through the first cell, across to the second cell, and out there. So when you battery check the first cell, you plug it in here, it goes through the black wire and the white wire, and you can see it goes down, through the battery and then out again and it tells you the voltage of the first battery. It goes through the black wire 
into the battery, along into the next cell, through that cell as well, and then out as well. So it checks both the batteries. Now this battery is fully operational, I can put some tape over all this. I'll just chop this lead off now. And now we can connect the proper two cell balance lead to this. Just do it colour to colour. We'll chuck some shrink wrap on here. So you can see this battery here is the same kind of battery or it used to be, but the plug broke. So I'm going to use this plug here, reuse it on that, and I'll use another plug on that battery that I just made there. So we'll drop this off. guys so now you can see how easy it is to change a three cell LiPo battery into a two cell LiPo battery that I'm currently using in my brushless gimbal here that I made myself. So if you found this video useful, which I'm sure you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more awesome Ultra IC videos. If you're still not sure about how to do this changing the battery kind of thing, comment down below. I'm happy to help you out but otherwise I'll see you around later and thanks for watching.